Last week we discovered that if we were going to do 3 times 17, who could remind me what we decided we could do with this? Um, Monet. Say it again. Break it down or distribute it, right? What did we distribute it to? 10 and 7. And then we did what? 3 times 10 is what class? 30. And then what else did we do? 3 times 7 is? 21. 21. And 30 plus 21 equals? 51. Do you remember that we started it by doing an array? And we decided instead of saying 17 here, we could say 10 and 7. And then we had 30 here, and we had 21 here. Is that all coming back to you? Yep. Okay. Monique, um, Monique would you sit down, please? So today we're going to try three digits. Taking what you know from last week, I want to see if you can figure out what to do to make this simple. Just like we were doing, don't, don't write it like this. I'm not looking for this type of multiplication yet. I want you to use what we've been doing um, over the last couple days with your group. Go ahead and discuss it. Nicole, what did your group come up with as an idea? Not what your answer was, but what was your idea? Split it into three numbers. Can you be more specific what I'm splitting into three numbers? 143. So did you do an array like this? No? Did anybody do the array? No? You just went right past that? Monet, you did? Okay, so with this, this would be five. I'm going to do the array just for those people who aren't sure. How did you split this up? How did you split this into three numbers, Nicole? What three numbers? You chose 100 and then 40 and then three. Is that correct? How many of you split it into three numbers and you split it into those numbers as well? Raise your hand if you did it a different way. Maybe you didn't write the array. Maybe you just did it this way. But I want to know if you split it a different way. What did you guys do, Monique? Okay, so let me tell you again what she said in case you didn't hear. She said that she knew that the 1 equaled 100, so they did 5 times 100 was 500. I'm assuming you wrote it across kind of like this. And then she did 5 times 4, which was actually 40, because she knew that equaled 40. So 5 times 40, and that was what? 200. And then she said she did five, they did five times three, which was 15. And then you can add those all up. I can tell five, 715. I don't even have to line them up to add it. Um, that would be the same thing you would do here. It would be five times 100 is 500. Five times 40 is 200. And five times three is 15. And then you would add them up. Did anybody divide these any different way? Like remember last week when we had 13, we could... Hold on, we can do 10 plus 3, or we can do 8 plus 5. Those were two. Did anybody split these numbers differently, like this kind of thing? Eva, you guys split it differently? Well, I just split them. Okay, what did you, how did you split them? Okay, so she did the same thing as this, only instead of doing 4s, she did 40, she did 20 and 20. Would that work also? Yeah. Would it work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because I have some people kind of like, yeah, so. How many of you think that would work? How many of you think that wouldn't work? Okay, so we did good on Thursday. It would work because we're just splitting this 40 array into 20 and 20, and 20 plus 20 equals 40. So let's go back to 40. This is 100 plus 40 plus 3. Does that look like anything to you guys that you've seen before? Rashawn, what does it look like to you? It looks like expanded form. Do you think if I'm multiplying numbers, I can take any number and put it in expanded form and have the same thing work? Like, do you think I could take any three-digit number, turn it into expanded form, and multiply it by this and have it work? What would that look like in expanded form, class? 400. Okay. If I was doing that as, 
So here's my array. I could do 400. Would that work? Go ahead and try that one out. All right, let's go ahead and go, <clears throat> let's go ahead and go through what you did here. So we set it up. So the first box will be 400 times 2, two which is 800. Okay. The second box will be what? 120. Who would like to tell me how you got that? Raise your hand. How'd you get that, Miranda? So 120. And then the last one should be what class? Two. Two. Because we're doing one times two. And then if you add all these up again, where we're at right now, this is a little easy to add up in your head. What did you guys get when you added this up? Go ahead and tell me. 922. Let me show you another way you can represent how to do this. That's exactly what you've just done. It's just a different way of showing it. Okay, let's show a different way to do this. So we've decided that whatever we turn, the, whatever we change this to, we're going to multiply it by two. What did we, what did we decide we were going to change this to, class? Four hundred plus. And then when we start doing the math for it, what we're really doing is 2 times 400. Did we do 2 times 400? Yes. And then we added that to another multiplication problem. What was our second multiplication problem? 2 times 60. 2 times 60. Then we added that to another multiplication problem. What was 2 times 1. Okay. Then we had, this was 800 plus... What was that one? What was this one, class? Six times? 120 plus 2. And then we added those and we got 922. You can also show it like we were doing last time, where I could just do it right here. So if I look at it this way, I know this group did it this way. They just said 4, four represents what number? 400. So they did 2 times 400 is 800. And they said the 6 represents what number? 60. So 2 times 60 is 120. And then they said 2 times 1, 2. These are all ways that you can do this, whatever way makes sense to you and works for you. I'll put this one back up for those who like this one, and you can reference back. Okay, so we're <laughs> going to do expanded form like this. Changes to expanded form, you can either do it this way, or you can do it this way, or you can just do it straight out like this. There's three different options of how to change this to expanded form and then to multiply it by the two.